Now, in addition to the spot healing brush that we just used, there is also something called a healing brush. A healing brush works uh, pretty well for areas that are larger. And it also works quite well if you want to remove dark circles or wrinkles, uh, fix larger areas of imperfections, that type of thing. Um, what we're going to use it for is to get rid of the dark circles under grandma's eyes. And we're also going to use it to remove wrinkles. So first we're going to do the dark circles. And you do need to adjust settings up here uh, for the blend mode. If we want to get rid of the dark circles, we need to change it to lighten. And then for the source, sample should be OK. Uh, for what we're sampling, current and below should be OK, although current is really all we need. And we're going to double check to see the hardness. Having a soft edge is fine. That's what we want. And then I'm going to adjust the size. And with the healing brush, you actually have to sample from one area and then click the area that you want to change. And to sample from an area, you have to press Alt. And I try to sample from an area that is close. So I'm going to press Alt and click here. Then I'm going to go up here. And click. Now you'll notice that that little plus sign moves. See it moving? Wherever that little plus sign is, that's where it's going to draw the texture and color from. So it's important to resample quite often and pay attention to where that plus sign is. Because if the plus sign gets over here in this crease, you're actually going to be adding a crease under the eye. And you know, grandma probably wouldn't like that very well. So we've got this side. Now we're going to do this one. Very important when you're doing this not to click too many times because it will get pixelated. And that will not look good. So this isn't going to be perfect. She's, she's going to have a little darkness. But it's going to be a lot better than it was. Okay, so at this point, we've, we've done a pretty good job on grandma's circles.